Okay guys, so I went ahead and buffed everything out like I'm supposed to, and then I started finishing my eyes, so I went ahead and applied the eyebrow, and the eyeliner, and some fake lashes, and some eyeliner on the bottom. I'm going to just go ahead and do it on this side, and show you exactly how I did it. Let's put that down here. So, I just bought this Revlon awesome kind of eyeliner. I've never had one but like this, but it has a little bubble at the end. It actually really makes it easier for me to use it, so I'm pretty ecstatic about it. And it's like onyx black, I think it was. Black is black. I don't know why I don't really prefer like crazy colored eyeliners because it doesn't look good on me, but I can use teal or black. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw a wing all the way out and I'm going to connect it back in. But I'm going to try to leave as much of the white as I can to make my eyes have a bigger look. Like a doughy-eyed effect. Doughy-eyed. <laughs> go ahead and bring that out. Pull it back in. Like I said, I want to keep as much of the white as I can. So it's looking like that. Not too bad, not too bad. And I fill in the colors. Fill in the nude spots, if you will. Then I'm going to go to the beginning of my eye and I'm going to do a very thin line and connect it. So I'm trying to show you guys, but I'm also trying to be able to see. So, you know. Okay, that's not so bad. Although this one is definitely thinner, so I'm gonna have to fix that. Oh no! Okay, so well, let's see. You know, that's the best part about makeup is Q-tips are a girl's best friend. So I'm just going to wet my Q-tip and I'm just gonna take off the end of it. And if it's a big line there or a big mark, I'm just gonna go through with concealer and it'll be a-okay. I have to do it twice. <laughs> Oh no. Well girls, we do that stupid face, we're like, like it fucking helps, it does not fucking help. <laughs> but you know, we do weird things. Honestly, I don't know about the rest of you, but I get a little frustrated sometimes with my makeup, and I know if I keep playing with it, I'm gonna get mad, so I stop. Because I don't like being mad. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my awesome Maybelline Colossal Mascara just to blacken up my lashes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And in a minute, I'll apply lashes in a bit. I'm going to do my eyebrows first. So I have this Shaney, this one is supposed to be a lip liner, but I use it for a eyeliner or an eyebrow pencil. And it's just a really nice shade of brown. So I'm just going to do this part of my eyebrow and then the rest of this part I'll fill in with a different utensil. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the bottom. Just do a faint, faint line. And then I'm going to blend it in. And I'm only going to do it like a third of the way back. Just enough to create... The illusion of symmetry. Symmetry. Ooh. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and take my eyebrow brush. I'm just going to blend it in really quick. Okay. So now let's look into not too shabby. Now I have an e.l.f. black mascara volumizing brush. Mascara brush. I'm going to use this on the back half of my eyebrows to get me like a ombre but very tamed looking eyebrow. That's how I get most of my shape and all my style. It actually helps really 
really make them awesome and bold, which I like bold eyebrows, so. All right, I'm going to put on my eyelashes. I'll see you guys in a minute. 